a Lamborghini Murcielago, armor-plated SUVs and dozens of other cars have gone under the hammer in Mexico. They were seized from drug cartels and corrupt government officials. Tenemos we have to act with austerity, not allow luxuries or extravagances into the government because there cannot exist a rich government for a poor nation. The auctions are being conducted by the newly created Institute to return stolen goods to the people. It will also sell three mansions valued at around $7 million, as well as confiscated gold and airplanes. It doesn't matter where and how the government got its hands on this money, as long as it is used for the benefit of the people. Mexico spends just 7.5% of its national income on social services, the lowest proportion among OECD member countries. President Andrés Manuel López Obrador wants to change that, but government debt's already grown to 47% of GDP, while tax collection stands at just 16% of GDP. And corruption skimming up to 9% of GDP each year, leaving behind little to help the poor. Trying to curb spending, the government's also scaling down inefficient state-owned companies. It's slashing 16,000 jobs at the petroleum seller Pemex, which owes about $150 billion to international lenders. But that's causing resentment among state workers. Right now, what is really alarming to me is the series of scary actions that go against productive people, industry and businesses. Reforming the healthcare sector is also challenging, with widespread medicine shortages and long delays at public hospitals. There's no gauze, there are no catheters, there are no drips, there's a lack of a lot of things. My nephew needed antibiotics and we had to go out and buy it. Lopez Obrador says the situation will get better. Nobody is being fired from the healthcare sector and we're working hard to ensure there is no lack of medicine. But the healthcare system is in bad shape. That's why reforms are unavoidable. Rolling back decades of corruption and inefficiencies will take time. But for now, Mexicans will have to swallow the bitter pill of austerity. Mubin Nasser, TRT World.